Hey, what's up guys, it's Oakley, and CA has put up a brief blog that talks about Regiments of Renown. So, what is this? Well, basically, it's a little unit pack, and the reason CA is releasing this is because they have some stuff coming around the corner soon. So, they have their first Lords pack they're announcing here in the pipeline. More on that quite soon. TM, spoilers. Uh, it's somewhat grim. So, we'll see what that ends up being. And they say that's going to be accompanied with a new chunk of free LC. So the Lord's Pack, they say, is going to be bundled into the first Lord's Pack. It's going to come with 18 units of Renown, 9 for each of the core playable races, and 9 for another race here. Uh, not really announcing what that is, but presumably um, the non-core race, maybe Bretonia or something, we're not quite sure. Anyways, what are these units of Renown? Well, they say they are elite mercenary variants of existing units, so they've got reverently named squads or other things from the lore and the tabletop. Uh, they do say that, you know, this is something that's going to be continuing on uh, in the future. For this installment, it's not necessarily tied to any forthcoming DLC. It's more meant as, an ex as a flavorful expansion and incentive to get the Lords pack. And that's all pretty cool. And they did say here that they will be paying attention to uh, feedback. So in terms of how these play out, it turns out that the veteran system is actually pretty cool. They're going to function sort of like mercenaries in previous Total War games, there's going to be its own um, Regiment of Renown recruitment menu, which you actually don't really have access to, or you can't act upon it until your Lord is a high enough rank. So you have to be a certain rank in order to recruit or gain access to these units of Renown. I think that's really cool. Having the mercenary pool come back is awesome, but having it not be spam and having it be more tied to your Lords is actually going to be a really cool way to obviously give incentive to getting these actual characters to making um, you know tying the uh, leveling up of your lord to the um, addition of extra new units it's almost like followers that you could have so I think that's overall pretty cool and it's also interesting in that it's a different development of how the mod teams have been implementing units like this before where yes they can they can introduce new units but when you do that you get huge stacks of spammed elite units and enhanced units. So this this is a better mechanic that limits the spam potential of these uh, unique characters. So uh, they talk a little bit more about it. So right out of the box these are better than their regular equivalents. They have enhanced combat stats, increased initial experience levels, um, and they are going to be available in custom and multiplayer. Uh, in multiplayer they're going to have a price, uh, a, a lifted price. Uh, on the battlefield, they're going to look relatively similar to their basic variant variants, but they're going to be recolored, textured. Uh, they may have new sizes and different weapons. In addition, the regiments are also going to be given special abilities, which is, I think, again, something that's very important in order to not just make this a reskin pack. Um, I think it's very important for them to add actual mechanical differences for them. This will make them stand out. Perhaps you'll have something like suppressive fire for gunners, fire by rank, maybe some really cool stuff. Um, they did say that some of these will even have three or four unique abilities. So this is very, very sweet stuff um, that I'm excited for. So yeah, definitely not just a repainted uh, skin. Uh, what's also cool about this is... Um, all the stuff that they're adding in terms of even free LC, DLC, and all that, it kind of adds more to the game, and all these additions are open to modding. So I'm very interested to see what the modding team is going to be able to do with the Units of Renown recruitment system interface, not only in terms of just making it um, what the Units of Renown are supposed to be, but people presumably could use it as a platform to create uh, Total War Warhammer's own mercenary recruitment system, you know, remove the unit cap and start doing interesting stuff with that. Uh, then CA gives us a couple of examples. So the first is the Royal Outdoor Griffites, basically the finest of the orders, inner circles of cavalrymen. Um, so basically, these are just going to be snow leopard colored and blue uh, tinged armor bearing uh, variants of the Demigriff Knights. Um, and they're going to have more abilities, more combat stats, all kinds of cool stuff. The image here does seem to show that they look pretty freaking badass. Um, I'm actually really excited to see if they come out with anything for the green skins. Just bigger, badder orcs would be really great to see. Uh, some specific uh, more immortal variants, maybe even giant variants, a giant with a name. Uh, there's all kinds of really cool stuff, and I love how this is going to add much more variety. Um, also for the Empire here, uh, it's going to be Hammer of Witches. So this is going to be a unit of cannons that, according to the lore, um, was from... It's a crew from the Great Cannon from Fort 
uh, Oberstier, and it says here that the regiment got its name in defending a town, and they blew the Grey Hag to smithereens um, by shooting a muzzleload of horseshoes at the Grey Hag. Um, and so that unit has magical damage buffs and all that. So this is all really, really cool stuff. It has me excited for what we're going to be seeing for future Total War stuff. Um, we have heard from CA actually that Total War Warhammer is a great success, much more than they anticipated, um, and that they're going to be investing a lot more into it. So this is all just icing on the cake of a growing trilogy that we're all excited for. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Peace out.